For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the resultant force and find where x measure from A. So we got a distributed load and a straight force going down. This distributed load has two shapes. It has a rectangle, this rectangle at the bottom, and a triangle at the top. So you know that the rectangle adds right at the center. Let's call it F. Let's call it FR for rectangle. And the triangle acts about right here. Let's call it FT. FT, uh, the force of the triangle, acts about one third of the length of this triangle measured from the long edge. So you're measuring from A. So let's get all our distances. FR acts right at the middle of the rectangle, which is three feet, because the length of the rectangle is six feet, a half is at three feet. The triangle, this triangle, acts at uh, minus one third from the long edge of the triangle, which would make this two feet, which would make this length four feet because it's this, if this length is two feet, one third, this is two thirds, which is four feet. And then you got this uh, 500 pound force acting at six plus three, which is nine feet. Now that we got all our, our distances, we can find FR. FR is the force of the rectangle, which is 150 because the top of the rectangle is at 150 pounds per foot times the length of the rectangle, which is six feet. And that's it. And it will give you 900 pounds. The force of the triangle is equal to this distance right here. Don't put 200 because 200 will be wrong. This distance right here is 200 minus 150, which would make this 50. So it's 50 times the length of the triangle, which is six feet divided by two, because it's a triangle and the area of a triangle is length times height divided by two. So 50 times six is 300 divided by two is 150 pounds. Now we got the two forces and this force is given is 500. So let's call it F3 equals to 500 pounds. So you know that the moments at A is equal to FR times three feet going clockwise. So it's positive plus FT times four feet also positive because it's going clockwise plus the 500 pound force times nine feet also going clockwise. So when you plug the numbers in and you calculate this, you get that this is equal to 78 foot pounds. And that is the moment that it creates about A. You know that the resultant force is the addition of all the forces. So by adding the 900, the 150 and the 500, you get that it's equal to 1550 pounds. And if you wanted to find the distance from A, you know that the moment about A is equal to the resultant force times the distance. So the moment is 7,800. The resultant force is 1,550. And the distance is the variable we're trying to find. The distance from A is equal to 7,800 divided by 1,550, which comes out to be 5.03 Now, is it to the left or to the right of A? It's pretty obvious that it's to the right. There's nothing to the left, but it's to the right because the force, the moment is clockwise and to create a clockwise moment, the, the distance, uh, the resultant force has to be to the right of A. So it's gonna be about five feet. So it will make it about here more or less. That's where the resultant force would act. F final answer for the distance, final answer for the resultant force, and final answer for the moment.
please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.